Hello and welcome to this review of the Heliberg KLM2 GT. Now I've already measured the wind speed at about 24.8 miles per hour, so it's windy enough and we'll have a look at the tent setup in that wind along with the usual other features of the tent that I kind of go through, you know, such as weather resistance, vestibule volume, interior volume, etc, etc, and of course my final thoughts on the tent. So just for starters, I know a lot of, of you guys like to know what how you compress a tent. I'm not a fan of really super compressing my gear. I mean, I don't really want to stick a thousand pound tent in a 10 litre dry bag. But look, just for your reference, this is it's an Osprey bag. It's a 20 litre and the tent honestly goes into that. You know, no problem at all without having to super compress it. So it's quite surprising, quite impressive how easily it was to pack the tent down. And then just one other thing, I always actually orientate the tent in the bag so they know what, where the back and the front of the tent is. Um, so apart from that, we'll go ahead and get a tent pitched now. So at the moment, I've only actually got the back four pegs in the tent, and then I'm going to sort of peg out a few of the guy lines now as well, just to support the tent um, before I actually put it up. So I'm actually just noticing here that it's even kind of like kneeling, I'm six foot one and the head's just touching the roof there but it's not, it's not annoying me in any way. So I have enough space to sort of actually kneel in good height in the vestibule area of, of this uh, as well as, as the floor space I suppose. I mean in this vestibule here, um, you know, there just is so much room. I mean, I'm sitting here again, sort of kind of in a position, and I really have so much room around me. I mean, if I needed to take my jacket off or do anything, it's just so easy to do. That's a real luxury. This is really the first time in reality that I have experienced uh, one of the GT tents. Um, and I'm really impressed, you know, the weather at the minute is a bit windy as you've seen and it's just nice having such good shelter you know uh, from that and being very very isolated from it so just looking at the rear vestibule volume just with a 60 liter pack in it so vestibule volume here is actually really really good i mean there's good length width and actual height and again the front vestibule volume i mean absolutely fantastic i mean i've actually really 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 enjoyed coming up here and having this space i mean it's been a real luxury as i said before i'm six foot one and that's sort of the space you know that i would have to sit at the side uh if i come into the middle you know i really have got you know a good amount of of height there and space wise you know the tent uh, is wider in the middle and tapers at the end but there's still tons of room here to work and actually do and, and do things so now you know my head's pretty much just touching the, the door and you can see where my feet are i mean the length of this is incredible and this is all down to the vertical doors it just makes such a difference so just sitting up in the back of the tent you know, there definitely is a, a good two or three inches difference you know in height wise but i can still sit up in the, in the back of the tent i'm quite comfortable with that but just obviously the kdm 2 if you were thinking about that is this height at either end whereas the 2gt because of the vestibule you've actually got a larger or longer pull at the front so the front of the inner tent is a little bit higher as well in the gt and swinged around here to the front you know so you can see there's a fair wee bit of difference you know you know height wise but uh, the room in this tent you know is really really good at the front just because of the uh, the longer pole so now on to my favorite subject in a four season tent and that is ventilation and the ventilation in this tent is fabulous uh, this just opens up right like this 
you know, and you've got fantastic ventilation and I can roll this up just don't get it tucked out of the way So really big fence and it's exactly the same at the other end. So here we have this vertical door that I was telling you about and it just makes so much difference to the length of the tent. I mean it, it, it's, it's very 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 hard to, to describe and I would honestly say in my opinion it makes a tent about this much longer you know, in reality and in real world terms. The other big advantage of, of, a, of a tent like this that has a twin vestibule is that Whenever it's windy, the vestibule here is taking the wind. Um, whereas on the likes of mine to match, you know, when when the actual tent goes right into like the vestibule, so to speak, you know, once it gets really, really windy, you know, you're a lot closer and less isolated from the wind. So this vestibule can absorb so much wind and you're completely unaffected by it. And that's another real bonus of having a tent with the two vestibules but obviously then it does you know it does way more so talking about weather resistance uh hopefully later on the wind will get up a bit more and we'll be able to test the tent some more uh, but i mean inside at the moment you're looking at uh, outside it's probably about 25 mile an hour winds maybe 30 mile an hour gusts and it sort of will give you some idea of what's going on inside the tent now obviously you, you know on these tunnel tents because you've quite large panels you, know, you do get a little bit of fabric moving but in and around the poles, I mean the poles are very, very, very solid and the tent is actually holding its structure, you know, really, really well. Now we'll go outside in a moment and we'll have a look at the outside view of sort of 25, 30 mile an hour winds. So 28.4 is the highest I've recorded so far. The weather resistance here is actually very, very good. I still can't get over the space in the front of this tent. It just is lovely to be able to sit and do this and be so enclosed and protected from the weather. So while I don't like doing reviews in my back garden for the next five minutes, that's just where we're going to be, I'm afraid. So what I've done is I've popped the footprint into the tent here um, because there's one aspect of the vestibule that I want to sort of show you. Um, I know I'm spending a lot of time on the porch and vestibule but at the end of the day it is a GT tent and that's why I'm doing that. So if push comes to shove one person can actually sleep in the vestibule of this tent. Now I was actually up um, camping a couple of nights ago and there was a family up and there was four of them, uh, a dad and two kids and a wife and the tent was similar in size to this, it also had quite a large vestibule in it and the dad ended up actually, he just slept in the, in the vestibule so either they fell out and had an argument and he was um, sent out here or else they had planned that, I'm not so sure but just you know, if you're thinking about it, it's something else that this tent can do and if I'm lying down here on my back feet at the moment are actually touching um, you know the front of the tent but you know there's actually enough room and I, I actually am a, sli a side sleeper you know and I would find it absolutely no problem here sleeping on my side um, tons of room so before I actually deliver my final thoughts on this tent I want to say a big thank you to Kevin Small for lending me the tent um, I have lots of sub subscribers who are obviously watching my videos and offer to let me to let me review their tents and honestly it's really really appreciated. So the final thoughts on this tent, um, the first surprise I got was actually how easily I can compress it down uh, you know, into a 20 litre dry bag, no problem at all. Secondly, the 3.8 kilograms, I've carried it into the mountains twice and had no issues with that either. Obviously, I've done a lot of talking about the vestibule um, and it's, it's almost got me thinking about a GT tent. The twin vestibule thing and the vertical walls, you know, 
deliver an, an, an insane amount of room inside a tent uh, compared to the actual specification. Having a vestibule that you can pitch into the wind, no matter what direction the wind is coming from, uh, it just makes a tent really, really versatile because you can sleep, sleep with your head at one end and have a vertical door and be away from the wind, or you can sleep with your, with your head at the other end if the wind direction is, is different. Um, so no matter where the wind is coming from or the slope of the ground, it's really, really adaptable and versatile, much more than what mine and match would be. <coughs> Having a vestibule take the brunt of the weather as well is a big plus for this tent. The separation obviously between the outer tent and inner tent at the vestibule then is, is, is that much, whereas on mine and match it's this much. I mean the wind gets really strong and the match will push or the wind will push the outer against the inner and both will deform. Um, so you'll maybe can lose about this much of the, of the inner tent space and it's already short. And because of the tapered back end of the tent on this tent you know you're really really well isolated from that uh, just because of the vestibule <clears throat> for the likes of, of, of you know having a really high quality camp a tent for car camping or just when you have a little bit more space um, you know this is, is absolutely a fantastic option now I did also have the opportunity to look at a Kedem 2 uh, and it was also very, very impressive. So I think the Kenums are a little bit underrated. Um, and I have considered selling mine a match and buying a Kedum just because of that extra, extra length and that extra versatility. So look, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, I've got a tent coming to me uh, shortly. Uh, it's sponsored, which is great. So we'll be reviewing that. I've got another stove test, you know, coming up as well. Um, and uh, the head torch from Ned Lenser, uh, one of their new models that's designed particularly for trail running. So those will be coming up soon. So thank you very much now. Until next time.